Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to trap your vinyl design so that it will be easy for you to layer vinyl without bulk. Um, the other thing that this is good for is if you want to layer two colors of glitter vinyl because you can't layer glitter on top of each other. You would need to use this technique to be able to do that to make sure that your vinyl is going to stay adhered. I'm going to click the type tool and I'm going to come over into my fonts list over here and I'm going to type the letter V to go right down to the V's and I'm just going to scroll until I find Vines Monogram and I'm going to use the solid bold option. I'm going to click and then I'm going to type in my monogram, my initials. I'm going to use a friend's initials for this. Um, A is the first letter of her first name, P is the first letter of her last name, and then N is her middle initial, so APN. I'm going to take this and drag it out a little bit further so that I can see exactly what I'm working with size-wise. Um, and I like the way that this looks, except that I think I'm going to just move the letters a little bit closer together, at least the N. So I'm going to ungroup them so that I can do that. And then I'm going to select the N. I'm just going to use the arrow keys to move it over slightly. And then I guess I will move the A in as well. So selecting that, you can see that I've selected the P, not the A. So I need to be over here to select the A. And then I'll move that in closer as well. That looks pretty good. I think I'd like the P a little bit taller. So I'm going to just stretch this down a bit and move it up a little bit so it's more centered. Working better with, you see right over here, there's a little bit of an issue. So I'm just gonna move this a little bit up so that it sits better, just a little bit more. Okay, so that looks better. I'm going to now display just the outlines so that you can see what's happening here. You've got some overlaps. And if you were to leave this the way it is, then when you cut, your machine will cut all of these lines. And you don't want that because this piece would fall out, this piece would fall out a little bit over here as well. So you need to weld this. And to do that, choose everything and then right click, choose path and union. That creates a permanent weld. And you can see that those pieces are all welded together now and you won't have those problems. You can also choose path up here in the menu and you can choose union from here. Had I not already done this, I'll, I'll show you. I'll just undo it. And you see that those letters are not welded right now. So I'm gonna select all of this. I'm going to choose path up here on the menu and then union. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to make a copy of the piece I have on the screen right now by pressing Command C. Then I'll press Command V to make a, to paste the copy, and I'm going to move that out of my way. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Appearance and then Add Shadow Layer. And then that's going to add a shadow all the way around my piece. And it looks like a shadow of 0 0.10 is good. If you wanted to increase that, you could just click this arrow here to increase it, or you could type in a value, but I like 0 0.10, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to change the black area to pink so that it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to select everything, right click, and choose Merge. Then I'm going to take what is left on the screen, and if I were to bring in this piece Right now, you'll see that this fits right in this spot because it's the same piece, right? So I'll drag it away again. What's left on the screen over here, I'm going to right, I'm going to choose it, right click, choose appearance, and I'm going to add a shadow layer again. Only this time, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to make it 0 0.03. This will be my trap. And you'll see that it's just that little, little bit. I'm going to select all of this right click, choose path, and then union. And you'll see that this is all one piece now. What this has done is it's added a little bit of an offset around everything so that when I bring this over and place it in the same area, I'm going to click arrange and send the pink piece to the back so that you can see the black on top. 
So you can see that when I pull it away, there's a little bit extra. You'll see it mostly in this area, the thinner areas. Let me bring this over again so that it's sitting over on top of the pink. And if I choose outlines only, you'll see that little bit of a line there. And that's going to be the trapping area so that when you place one piece on top of the other, you won't have any missed areas where your garment will show through. So you've got these two pieces. I'm going to go back to showing the, out, the colors. You have these two pieces and you will cut them out in your two different colors. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut this out on my Cameo and then you'll see what that looks like. I'm also going to make this a little bit smaller because it'll be too big to put onto a mug. So I've placed everything together. I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to resize it because if I only did one piece at a time, then it wouldn't fit together properly. So let me just have a look at how big this is now. It's four inches in height. So it's still a little bit big, a little bit less. I'm going to go to three inches and then I'll be able to cut those out. This technique in Silhouette Studio is also super easy. First thing I'm going to do is create the text. So I'm going to type in A, uh, sorry, it was a lowercase A, capital P and a lowercase N. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text to my text tool here and I'm going to choose by type in V-I-N-E-S and that will choose that font for me. I'm going to click away and then I'm going to select it again, move it out of the way, select it again and then drag it out to make it bigger and you see the same issue with the overlapping lines here. So what I need to do is I need to right click and weld or I can have everything selected here and I can click weld. I can come up to the modify window here and click weld here. And that solves that issue. Once I've done that, I need to click the offset window. I'm going to click offset and it's a little bit thicker than what I want. So I'm going to bring this down to 0.10 so that I am working with the same thing I was working with in shortcuts a lot. And I'm going to apply that. So once I've created the offset, all I need to do is select both of these pieces. I'm going to click the modify window and then choose subtract all. What that's done is it's cut out the piece in the middle so that I have this same outline that I had when I worked in shortcuts a lot. So once I've done that, I'm going to select this piece I'm going to come back up to the offset window and I'm going to click offset and I'm going to choose a distance of 0 0.03. That's going to be my slight overlap. Then I'm going to click apply Then I've got two pieces in there. So I'm going to pull away the inner piece. Now I'm left with this piece, which is the same as what I had in shortcuts a lot. I'm going to delete this piece, which I don't need anymore. And if I fill these in with color, you'll see more easily what I'm talking about. This is going to be the pink piece and this is going to be the black piece. So it's got lines around it that are different colors. So I'm going to change those as well. And this one I will also change to pink. And then when I move the black over, you'll see that you get the exact same effect. It's giving you that trapping, an amount for trapping so that you don't have to be exactly right on when you're layering over. I'm going to leave the vinyl out here. So there are quite a few little inside pieces here to get out. You just want to make sure that you're picking out the right pieces. Make 
sure I'm not getting anything by mistake, and I didn't. So if you were doing this with heat transfer vinyl to put on a garment, of course you would first flip your image and then go through the same process. I think that's it. It is. Okay, and now I'm going to work on the black piece, which will end up being put on top of the pink. By the way, I'm now using my CB09 blade holder in my Cameo. I've had problems with it for the longest time, couldn't get it to work properly. And then I ended up taking it completely apart and resetting it from zero. And it's working beautifully now. I don't have to change the settings on the blade at all. I only change the settings in the software and it works perfectly. The last time I used it was with cardstock, this time it was with vinyl and I didn't change the blade setting at all, only in the, in the software. And look how easy it is to weed all these pieces. It really works very well. Okay, and that's all done. So then I'll get my transfer tape. And I'm going to pick up the black to put it on the pink. So I'm going to burnish that down. Really well. And then I'll just look over what I'm working on and it's going to be very easy to place this on top. I know that this part is perfect so then this part will be fine too. And you see there are no missing areas because of the trapping. It turns out really really well. Burnish this, pull it away and put it onto my mug. And then I'll show, show you the finished result. It should, of course, be on this side because she is right handed. So I'm going to just eyeball it to get the P in the middle. Okay, so then I'll put it down. And I always work from the middle out when placing it on something curved. Okay, and then I'll pull away my transfer tape, which by the way is the Cricut transfer tape. It's fantastic. It works beautifully every single time. And there we go. So I've got this gorgeous monogram. It's done an excellent job and there's no bulk. And again, as I say, if you were working with glitter vinyl, you would have no problem layering different colors on top of each other with the trapping method. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.